So welcome to this video where I'm going to go through the system that is used to name supernovas. So here you've got two examples. You've got SN1987A and SN1994D. Now those names or those codes that you see are not randomly generated. There is a system to it and we're going to have a look at how they actually get that name. So this name is their permanent designation and it's issued by the International Astronomical Union. So SN1987 a, SN1994D, SN2008D. So where does that name or that classification or that code actually comes from? Because again, it's not randomly generated. There is a method to that, to how they're named. So the first part, the SN, so all supernovas are going to have this SN in front, and that tells you that this object is a supernova because you can use a similar technique or a similar method to name things like a minor planet asteroid, comet, those sorts of things. So the SN at the front will tell you that it's actually a supernova and not a different sort of object. Now the four numbers in the middle tell you the year of discovery. So 1994 would be the year of discovery of this particular supernova. And then at the end you'll either get a single letter or maybe a pair of letters and this can tell you the order in which it was discovered in that year. So the number it was discovered in that year. So D would be fourth. And for the first 26 letters, you get a single letter at the end. And it goes from uppercase A to uppercase Z. And you get 26 for a single letter. Now, this one here, SN 1994, means that it was the fourth supernova discovered in that particular year. So quite easy, straightforward to figure out that particular one. But you may see some supernovas that have two lowercase pairs at the end instead of an uppercase single letter at the end. And when you have more than 26 discoveries, you need to add an extra letter on so you can then increase the number of supernovas you can have. Or the, number, the different number of combinations you get, you can increase it basically by adding a, another letter. So. The first letter is the number of times that you've gone through the full alphabet and then to the next one. So N is the 14th letter of the alphabet, which means it's gone through 14 times. And then the one on the end here, the C, that's the third letter in the alphabet. So that means that on the final alphabet, you've, you're in the third position. So you need to basically do 14 times 26 and then add the three. And that will give you the number of discovery in that year for that supernova. So probably easier to show you an example. So because N was the 14th letter, you times that by 26, which is how many letters are in the alphabet, and then you add the three, because it's the position in the alphabet at the end. So that gives you 367, which means SN2005NC is the 367th supernova discovered in 2005. And if you actually discover too many, so you can actually discover so many supernovas in one year that you can't cover them with that particular combination of two letters. And in that case, you'd actually add a third letter and you then increase it again to get, um, get more combinations that you can do to give you the total discoveries in that particular year. And as our equipment gets better and we're observing the sky in more detail, this is going to happen more and more often when we discover more. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.